Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Hello YouTube, this is Bobby1234579 here, also known as PJ's Tech Help. Today I'm here to be talking to you how to make your computer boot up faster. I'm running Vista, so I'm only going to be showing you on Vista. I will have another video, um, and that will be in the description for XP, but that will probably be in about a week. So if you're watching this on 3.30.2009, then in about another week so somewhere after March end of March so here we go guys first all you need to do is go down to the start menu there's actually two steps to this first step you need to go down to start and you need to click on control panel then once in control panel you need to make sure that you're in the control panel home so make sure that you're in this one, not this one, not the classic view. The one that I'm about to circle, this one that I just circled in green, this one, that one. Okay. And then what you want to do is come down here to the program section and then open up the change startup programs. And now what this is going to let you do is if you run a bunch of applications such as AIM, um, MSN, and Skype, things of that nature, they use up a lot of space when you start up your computer. So what you want to actually do is you want to uh, get rid of the programs that are not being used. So if I want to get rid of this one right here, the Acer. EAP EAP launch tool then you would click on it and then you would go down here to where it says remove, remove or disable click one of those depending on what you would like to do it's pretty self explanatory the next step guys which is really going to help you in not just the startup but the overall performance when you open up programs and things like that now uh, we can get out of this actually after you have made all of your adjustments to the startup programs you can get out of the win uh, the control panel then you need to come back down to start again actually and once you open it you want to go to computer right click on that and go to properties not sure if you can see that guys but right click on my computer and go to properties once in properties you want to go to the advanced in the sidebar over here right so you see the little application here and come down go to the advanced system settings now once this is open this little system properties it should start you out in the advanced tab and if not make sure you go to the advanced tab and make sure you go to performance this little thing right here and then come down here to settings and then you want to go to the advanced tab again right right here guys I'll circle it for you advanced tab right there okay none of that go to the advanced tab and then come down here to where it says virtual memory right there and then you want to go to change it's going to start you out like this where okay, it's going to start you out here when you first open up this guys you're going to have this this enabled oh whoops you're going to have this having some troubles here guys Right, you're gonna have that enabled that up up here Hold on. it's not what I want to you're gonna have this enabled that right there that you want to get rid of that by just simply unchecking it and going down a little bit and come coming down to uh, custom size make sure you're checked on that and then 
what you want to do is find whatever this says right here, the space available, and type in about 8,000 below what you are going to use your initial size for in megabytes. And then for your maximum size, you want about 3,000 below what you, um, what you, uh, your total space available. So all you do is subtract 3,000 from this number right here about 3,000 and depending on how much you have okay, so if you don't have that much then you're not going to subtract 3,000 if you only have 300 uh, megabytes available then you only want to subtract like if you only have 300 available you want to subtract like maybe 50 that's plenty to subtract and so you want to just set that and then you want to click the set button right here and I'm not going to change mine because I already like how mine are set you want to just click OK. You want to click OK again. And click OK one more time. And then you can exit out of the system management. And then, guys, all you need to do is restart your computer. And I hope you know how to do that, which is just start this little tab and then restart. I'm not going to restart because I don't need to. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. Comment, rate five stars, and please subscribe. Um, and I really do take the comments seriously. I definitely do respond to my comments. Um, you can check out my other videos. Um, my YouTube link will be in the description. It's also, you can just click on my uh, little name. Uh, Bobby1234567889, guys, also known as PJ Tech Help. Out and one more thing, uh, I have um, a live Ustream page 24/7 now, um, and that link will be in the description. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video.